Hi guys, Candy here at My Mobile Homestead. So half the time I start cooking something and it could be something quick and easy and it could be something delicious and then I realize hey I sure would love to share this <laughs> but half the time it's part way through like now but I decided I'm gonna go with it I want to apologize for my dirty stove I spilled some elderberry syrup on there earlier today and haven't cleaned it up so uh, what I'm making today it's the day after Thanksgiving and I'm making turkey dump and dumplings so um, I have turkey breast in here um, some peas some corn I had the cool thing is is the the, cor the turkey breast was already cooked and I threw it in the freezer last night then used it today when I decided I was gonna make this chopped it up wham bam thank you ma'am corn and peas were frozen and then I even um, when I was doing my stuffing prep I just chopped up a bunch of uh, celery because uh, I really don't like celery other than like in a dish like this and chopped up a bunch of onion ahead of time stuck it in the freezer so already chopped big handful of both of those and then um, this is my special mix that I do that has kale, spinach, uh, Swiss chard, and then I had some leftover moringa powder that I threw in here. So um, I dehydrate the first three and um, then grind it up and then threw my, I actually think I have some uh, dandelion leaves in here too. But this is what I throw, um, this is my green, special green mix that I throw into everything. Super healthy. And so that's what's in there. That's why it's a little bit green. And then, um, hold on. And in here I have my um, biscuit mix. So I'm using this. It's from Dining on a Dime. And um, if you want to get a cookbook like this, because I have to admit, this is probably my favorite cookbook, and I haven't used any other kind of cookbook in a really long time. So you could probably find one here. I love this cookbook. It has great recipes and almost every single recipe I can adjust to be gluten free, just like these. These biscuit, this biscuit recipe that's in this book, I used gluten free flour, added a little bit more um, baking powder and it's going to work. It's going to taste great. So those will go into this and then it will be super yum and here it is with the dumplings oh my gosh it is so good I pulled one out and look right can you see oh, in the light it looks like so fluffy right there in the middle I'm going to eat that one right now if I can figure out <laughs> how to do this I am one-handed still a little bit I'm like one and a half handed ever since my burning accident. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. These are good. Oh my gosh. This is probably my favorite part of ch chicken and dumplings or turkey and dumplings is the dumpling. Huh. <sighs> yummy. Yum yum. Okay. Well, I gotta go because I gotta eat. This has just triggered my hunger. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. God bless.